Robin, it's always so good to see you and to be here tonight again with these amazing pups. Carson, we're so happy to have you for our American Main Hero Dog Awards. It's our 12th year honoring America's amazing heroes on both ends of the leash. Wow. And Daisy and Mr. Darcy are so happy to see you. Hi, right, guys. Wow. 12 years. That's a long run. I mean, even in dog years. I don't do math, but it's a long time. But it's not too long for American Humane, right? You are absolutely correct. You know, we're 145 years old. We're our country's oldest national humane organization. We actually help animals whenever and wherever they're in need. Wow. Well, I am always so in awe and inspired by the work that you guys do to help animals. And tonight's going to be amazing because we're going to be celebrating our hero dogs. I know. We can't wait to find out which of the seven very deserving finalists will become American Humane's hero dog. Speaking of that, Carson, mm -hmm. I think you have a show to host. Oh, my gosh. I was getting mesmerized by all the cuteness oh. here. All right. I'll see you on stage. Yes. It's the American Humane Hero Dog Awards 12th Anniversary Celebration. Tonight, the furry winners from around the country in seven different categories will be recognized for their awe-inspiring achievements. And one will be named the 2022 American Humane Hero Dog. And it starts right now. Here's your host, Carson Kressley. Hello and welcome to the American Humane Hero Dog Awards. Now I had the distinct pleasure of being the very first host on the inaugural show and it feels so great to be back for this year's 12th anniversary celebration. Now we're here to celebrate seven exceptionally inspiring dogs who embody what it means to be a hero. More than one million votes have been cast and you can still show your support for your favorite hero dog now. So follow Hero Dog Awards on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and use the hashtag Hero Dog Awards to join the conversation. Now, let's meet our Hero Dog finalists. Therapy dogs help people every day who are struggling with physical, social, emotional, and cognitive challenges. The special bond between people and dogs is illustrated so beautifully by our relationships with therapy dogs. Let's meet the 2022 Therapy Hero Dog who helps people understand that it's okay to have a disability because, well, he does too. Here's the story of Cole, the deaf dog. I visited my local shelter's website and the first puppy that I had noticed had two words next to it, special needs, and it so happens he was born deaf. And at the time, my nephew was nine years old. He was also born deaf, so I knew this was a puppy that I absolutely had to meet. I'm leaving the room for meeting him and so excited about adopting this new deaf puppy in my life. A man asked me why I would want to adopt a broken dog. And it just set forth this fire underneath me. So once he got his therapy certification, I approached my administration and I said, how would you guys like to have Cole visit maybe like one day a week? He can hang out with me in the music room since I see all the students. And he came, he visited the first day of school and the first day of school is a very emotional time for children. That year there was no crying children as they came off the bus for the first day of school. That one day a week turned into the last five years, five days a week and Cole has not missed a day of school. But what it's doing is it's putting students' barriers and walls down. We're learning through Cole's life story about not judging something by its cover. He's enlightening students to really just put themselves out there and be who they are and enjoy who they are. I'm speaking for the thousands upon thousands of children we've been blessed enough to work with not just in school every day, but in the school programs, the special needs, the special Olympics students that we go and we meet with, our veterans, our hospice patients, the inspiration they are finding behind his story, showing people that you can believe in heroes. Heroes really do exist. This little deaf shelter dog that that man called broken on my way out literally changed my life path. He changed the way that I have an outlook on life. I get to wake up next to this, this face every single day. It's literally a dream come true. I've loved dogs my entire life, and I've seen firsthand the profound effects they can have on people's lives. 
and service dogs are truly remarkable examples of this. Service dogs, such as Hero Dog Recon, help people with physical and emotional disabilities through specialized training. Let's hear how Recon is quite literally a lifesaver for his handler, Bobby. Hi, I'm Bobby from Suffolk, Virginia, and this is my dog, Recon. Recon is a mobility stability dog for me. Other than kind of the way that I walk, it's all invisible injuries. People don't realize what that does to you. Like just sitting in this chair, because it's a little low, I need something to help me get out. If I drop anything, he'll go get it. He opens a refrigerator for me. It's just so much that he does. With TBI, people don't realize you're short-tempered. Little things, because you're off balance, just totally frustrating. It just, it just made me miserable. And then when Recon came, then people started going, ooh, we got the old Bobby back. <laughs> so my life now, from before, I can do anything I want. He's just an amazing partner. I don't consider him a dog. I consider him my buddy. Uh, there had been a rock slide on a particular trail in New River Gorge that I was on. I slipped and fell with my back to him and got trapped between two rocks. So I told him, go get help. And he kind of perked up and looked at me. And then he took off down the trail. Then I heard a voice say, sir, I've got your dog. Are you OK? And she helped me get out and helped me get recon across the rocks. He's not really a service dog in my mind. He's a hero dog. If you think about it, he saved my life more than just that time. Search and rescue dogs are a highly specialized breed of hero, utilizing their keen sense of smell, night vision, and endurance to find missing people. Following natural disasters, accidents, and more, these hero dogs dive in feet first, or maybe I should say paws and nose first. Congratulations to this year's search and rescue hero dog, Keb. Hi, I'm Suzanne. I'm from Edmonds, Washington, and this is my search and rescue dog, Keb. Keb is certified in Wilderness Airsome, in Avalanche, in uh, Disaster First Responder, and in Human Remains Detection. When she was a Wilderness Search and Rescue Dog, we went all over the Cascade Range in Washington State and into the Olympics, so very harsh nature, you know, high mountains, snow uh, a lot of the year. We've been airlifted by helicopter onto Mount Rainier. So we engage in a dance together. I decide what our st search strategy is until she gets into scent. And then I have to follow her because she's the one that will lead me into where the highest level of concentration is. And so I have to be able to read the very fine nuances of her body language, you know, when her ears are twitching, what is her tail doing, and I have to be able to interpret that. We have developed a really, really strong bond. Um, she can't do her work without me. I can't do my work without hers. The fact that we bring uh, an, a level of resolution, an answer to the family, means a lot to me. And I think just the very fact of uh, seeing the tragedies and meeting the families and being able to uh, work with my dog to find answers, it just has made me a better person. She has dedicated her whole, her whole life, every day, to search and rescue. I just can't imagine being without her. Um, she's just an integral part of who I am now. We are, you know, we're one. She is my heart dog. She's my forever dog. She's my hero dog. Wow, these dogs are so inspiring, and we're just getting started. Thanks for watching, and we'll be right back with more Hero Dogs. Hi, everybody. I'm Kristen Chenoweth.
When our service men and women return from war, they often carry wounds that the rest of us cannot see. Up to one in five veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. And often, even the best treatment, including medication and therapy, they fall short. Sadly, more than 6,000 veterans die every year from suicide. Thanks to the life-saving power of the human-animal bond, professionally trained service dogs can help. But connecting a veteran with a well-trained service dog can be difficult. Wait lists are long and training can cost tens of thousands of dollars. But service dogs can bring healing. If you're a veteran or know a veteran struggling with post-traumatic stress or traumatic brain injury, please go to AmericanHumane.org to learn about their Pups for Patriots program, which provides dogs to veterans for free of charge. Let's help our veterans heal from the invisible wounds of war. The American Humane Pups for Patriots program is an amazing program that supports their veterans every way possible. You will find every single person working for American Humane has the same passion for people, for veterans, for animals. The entire family is what we're about. It's helping others. Coming here to the sanctuary was, I can't even put into words, this is like a beautiful oasis. You pull into the driveway and it's just a constant, uh, like a big sigh of relief. You feel it. To be here with uh, a couple other veterans and their dogs and to be able to really talk to them and see what they go through and to learn from them and from each other and what we go through is huge. It's a relaxing time and at the same time we get to have our dogs train side by side with other service animals that are paired with their veterans in the controlled environment. It's great. I don't know what I would do without American Humane and Pups for Patriots. This whole program has been a blessing in my life. I feel like I have a, a family that I can lean on outside of my family now. I feel blessed to actually be a part of this program and to be able to partake in this. I feel blessed to have been given a, an amazing dog that helps me walk through every day of my life. Thanks for watching the 12th annual American Humane Hero Dog Awards. This next category recognizes the truly courageous dogs that keep our communities safe from crime, drugs, and arson. They help protect the public, thwart lawbreakers, and find evidence. Talk about taking a bite out of crime. So let's get to know this year's law enforcement hero dog, Canine Riggs, a crime-fighting superhero. Canine Riggs is a full-service police canine. He's certified in tracking, narcotics detection, article searches, and aggression control, and we've been together since 2014. When he gets into work mode, and that's usually when I have my uniform on and I put him in the back of the car, then he becomes very protective because he knows that we're usually in dangerous situations. So it was October 21st of 2021. We were advised that there was a homicide suspect in a vehicle at one of our local gas stations. Deputies arrived located the car and there was a male subject inside the vehicle. The suspect exited the vehicle and took off running. Deputies ran after the suspect. I saw him reach into his pocket and pulled what appeared to be a gun. So that at that time I released canine Riggs who apprehended the suspect. While apprehending the suspect, um, the, su the suspect pulled a gun and shot Riggs in the forehead. The bullet had to enter through his forehead, go around his skull, and then exited below his right ear. He's family to me, so it hurt a lot to see somebody that I was so close to go through what he went through. He somehow made a full recovery, and four weeks later, he was back to being on patrol as a full-service police canine. I'm just thankful he was there because I truly believe that he saved not only me, but the other officers that were there that, that day. I think that's truly heroic, and I, he's still out there doing it with me today. 
Guide and hearing dogs serve as the eyes and ears for visually and hearing impaired people. These remarkable dogs are often credited by their human handler with providing them independence and freedom that they would have not have had otherwise. This year's amazing guide hero dog is Kinley. Kinley and I have been together for six years. He is a professionally trained guide dog, but he is so much more than that. So I always say, I'm the GPS and he's the one driving. <laughs> it's not just physical freedom, it's mental freedom. When I first got Kinley, um, he was doing a lot of PTSD work. Um, and he did it all innately. It wasn't something that I taught him to do. And he will lean his weight into me and just kind of help ground me so that I have something to focus on instead of the anxiety. Kinley is such an icebreaker. Um, as opposed to like a cane really isn't a conversation starter. <laughs> um, a lot of times I, I, was, I, I always felt like People avoided me when I had my cane, whereas having Kinley, um, a lot more people feel like they can come up to you and they can talk to you. Kinley came to me when I thought that I was just done. I mean, I felt that I had nothing to live for, and then I got Kinley, and I learned unconditional love from him. I learned what unconditional love means. My friends always say I'm, I'm unstoppable with Kinley. My mom calls him my guardian angel. And when people talk about heroes, um, they talk about goodness and dedication and bravery and courage. And that just is everything he is. Kinley, you're a true hero. And thanks for watching. We'll be right back with the 2022 American Humane Hero Dog Awards. Hi, I'm Ice-T. As a veteran, I know that for many former servicemen and women, the battle doesn't always end when they come home. Every day, 184 veterans are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, and sadly, 20 take their own lives. When nothing else helps, professionally trained service dogs can. American Humane, serving the U.S. military for over 100 years, rescues animals in need of forever homes and trains them to become free, life-saving service dogs for our nation's veterans. If you're a veteran or know a veteran struggling with post-traumatic stress or traumatic brain injury, please go to AmericanHumane.org to learn about their Pups for Patriots program. Let's give our veterans a fighting chance. Hi, I'm John Oshkowitz. Since before the beginning of recorded time, animals have protected, comforted, sustained, and given us their unconditional love. It's time we repaid the favor. American Humane, the country's first national humane organization, encourages everyone who loves animals to do four simple things to help those who have helped us so much. Adopt from a local rescue or shelter. Help animals in disasters by becoming an American Humane rescue volunteer. Be sure to choose only humanely raised foods and help preserve and protect Earth's wonderful, endangered, and rapidly disappearing creatures by supporting American Humane certified institutions. By doing these four simple things, you can make a world of difference for the animals who have done so much for us for so long. Visit AmericanHumane.org to find out how you can pay back in some small way the beautiful animals who enrich our lives every day. Hi, I'm Marcel Spears. Keeping our global neighborhood safe is a tough job, made easier by America's brave military dogs. These dogs keep our troops safe by sniffing out bombs and IEDs and locating enemy positions. Yet when these canine heroes retire, they're too often left overseas. American Humane works to bring these valiant dogs home and reunites them with their handlers for happy, healthy retirements. To learn how you can help, 
visit AmericanHumane.org. Okay, stand by everyone. We're gonna roll bumper. Stand by Carson. Coming back in three, two, one. Welcome back to the 12th Annual Hero Dog Awards. We're just a few paw steps away from crowning this year's American Hero Dog. But before we do, let's meet a couple more heroic hounds. Unfortunately, there are millions of dogs in shelters all across America, and every single one has a story. Stories of hardship, of triumph, of love, and of joy. The Shelter Hero Dog category shines a light on ordinary dogs who do extraordinary things. The often overlooked shelter or rescue dog who goes on to find their place in the world and brings so much joy to the people around them. I'm honored to introduce this year's Shelter Hero Dog, Ethan. Ethan was dumped in the parking lot at the Kentucky Humane Society on January 29th, 2021. Our vet staff, their first thought was, why would they bring a dead dog in here? There's, there's nothing we can do for a dead dog. And, and then he took a breath. We didn't know if he was gonna live through the weekend. I just knew he was my dog. And I just knew I would do anything for that dog, whether it was for a couple days or, you know, a lifetime. When he was dumped at the Kentucky Humane Society, they posted about him, saying that there was a dying dog left. People started following his story. He brought hope in a lot of people's dark times. They didn't see anything on the horizon, and this little dog kept getting better. I would get letters and emails and cards from people all over the all over the world telling me the positive impact that he had on their life. It was anything from people that were struggling with abuse and struggling with drug addiction and struggling with they had been diagnosed with cancer and they saw him, they saw how much fight and how much resilience he had just to live, just to take another breath. So they kept they kept fighting. He means everything to me, you know. Uh, He's got a message and he's on a journey. He needs someone to speak that message and I feel honored that I'm that person. He was dumped in the parking lot and weighed 38 pounds. He should have been 85 or 90 pounds. Not even enough strength to stand up. And to think that that little dog in that parking lot could be the hero shelter dog of the year is just amazing, just amazing. Military working dogs protect and serve this country just like the service men and women beside them. Now these dogs risk their lives every day to keep us safe and their heroism does not stop when they retire, which is why the Hero Dog Awards honors both active and retired military working dogs for their courageous service to our country. This year, we recognize military hero dog, Iken. When Iken was active duty, he was an explosive detection dog. He served in the Army and the Marine Corps and was actually wounded in Afghanistan. He had some surgery and rehabbed, and then once he was fit for duty again, the Marine Corps picked him up, and eventually that's how my son wound up as his handler. He retired in 2016, and he is 16 years old. Mikan's biggest change was being able to do whatever he wanted. He still had that, um, the precursor of wanting to sniff for explosive devices. And even as of today, if I get a package in the front door, he has to smell it before it comes in the house. A lot of people don't understand about the military working dog and what they do, and how many lives they've saved, you know, all over. So. What we would like to do is get it out there and let people know that once they retire, the government doesn't take care of them. So it's up to we, the people, to take care of our dog heroes and make sure that they're taken care of in retirement. Iken goes out and makes it well known in the public that they need a home when they retire. If the handler can't take them, they need somebody that can um, take care of them and do what they need to do to take them and make sure that they're well taken care of. Iken is a huge hero for us. Um, 
we know that everything he's done, he's done for us. So giving him the best life that he can have is the best thing we can do for him. It's everything he's done in his life. He has saved countless lives. He's done his duty. He deserves to be taken care of. And again, he's the king of our castle. <laughs>Tonight, we met seven incredible hero dogs, each with a unique story, but with one thing in common. They touched the lives of so many people around them. And now, to announce our final award of the evening, please welcome the amazing leader, president, and CEO of American Humane, Dr. Robin Gansard. Carson, all of the dogs you met tonight are heroes, but only one can win the coveted title of the 2022 American Hero Dog. People at home cast more than one million votes, and our panel of blue ribbon judges weighed in, ultimately coming to a final decision. The winner of this year's American Humane Hero Dog Awards is... Ethan. Ethan! Ethan is our shelter hero dog and the 2022 American Hero Dog. And I had a chance to congratulate Ethan and his handler, Jeff, earlier. All right, very excited to be here with you, Jeff and Ethan, who were just named 2022 American Humane Hero Dog of the Year. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, completely overwhelming to go from this little dog that was mm -hmm. dumped in a parking lot at 38 pounds to now uh, Hero Dog of the Year is completely amazing to me. So we got to see so many amazing stories of all the hero dogs, and then to have you and Ethan announce as the winner, what went through your head when you heard your name called? A complete shock. Um, I came here so excited that he won the shelter dog and to hear his name as the top hero dog, I was just blown away. I think it was the matching jackets. I think so, extra points. Now, I know there were millions of votes cast for the hero dog this year and I know Ethan's story has kind of traveled all over the globe. You've got millions of supporters all over the world actually. Uh, anything you want to say to those people that have been supporting you on this journey? Uh, those people, that I, I call them Ethan's extended family, and he's not here without all them. They love him and support him, and they are passionate about him, and I love those people to death, and I thank them with all my heart. Congratulations, Ethan, the top dog of the 2022 American Humane Hero Dog Awards, and congratulations to all our extraordinary hero dogs. And thank you to American Humane for the critical and life-saving work that they do to help our animal friends across the globe. Thanks for watching.